Hello there, welcome back to the Ogre, the old Git Reacts, Reviews and Off Times, Reminiscences. Um, so, Kavada Druis, presumably, um, are an artist that their, their first EP um, I listened to, it's got to be some time ago, years ago now, um, but it struck me as being a little bit deranged, but um, nonetheless very catchy and infectious. Um, and I suppose as usual the best way to demonstrate why and how is to listen to it so we'll give it a listen shall we we're the first track a listen let's go 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 <laughs> ah. So on initial listen, uh, and it still happens now, I've heard this this track many, many, many times now, it sounds to me as if a, a bunch of tramps have broken into a recording studio, pissed at farts looking somewhere dry and warm for the night, and uh, discovered all these instruments lying around uh, in their... Um, in their drunken state decided fuck it let's give it a go what's the worst that can happen uh and by some miracle uh, in the same sense of the old adage about um monkeys on typewriters producing shakespeare this lot have produced uh, some of the finest rock and roll music your ears will ever receive um totally shambolic uh and the beginning <laughs> really just set you up to expect something different but um it doesn't take long for you or a jaw to drop and you start dribbling in delight <laughs>
So, yes, this is a rough and ready, raw black metal. Um, but there's also something quite psychedelic about it. It's as if these these uh, tramps have uh, found some mushroom tea there as well. Um, we certainly uh, sort of uh, off into the um, off into the unknown, off into the um, what should we say? What should we say? <laughs> into fey territory. Maybe, but uh, the point of making is that um, as far, there's a backbone to it, uh, but the uh, the tendrils that spring there from um, are seeking a sort of light you don't just get from sunshine, if that makes any sense whatsoever. <laughs> So now it's as if um, said tramps who um, aren't in the best of health because uh, you can't um, you can't perform at your peak when you drink meths and uh, eat discarded pizza from uh, litter bins. Um, have, uh, the, the, they've lost a bit of their uh, gusto and uh, decided to rely on the uh, the music that their dads used to listen to on the old grey whistle tests back in the uh, in the seventies. Uh, so we've now got a uh, definitely a more bluesy um, aspect to this um, and regular watchers will say well you don't like that sort of thing do you um, it's all about context and uh, how you do it so <laughs> this is um, this is um, still tickling me uh, I do like the fastest bits the best but uh, nonetheless uh, this still tickles me uh, and the vocals <laughs> they just remind me of um, a very very drunk person shouting themselves in the mirror um, um, whilst tripping so glorious <laughs>
So there you go. Uh, it's almost as if at the end there they've realised what they've done uh, and looking at each other going, how the fuck did we do that? Um, mm, now then, I said, so there we go. I had a thought. I know the, the second track of the, the two tracks on this EP uh, finishes um, quite sprightly. So, you know what, fuck it. Let's, uh, let's listen to the next as well. So on this second track, we start off at the very, very beginning. You think um, it's going to go into sort of uh, some some comfort territory, but uh, no, it soon goes into um, a doomy and dour um, aspect. And um, it's got a, a hint of uh, Ruins of Beverast about it at the very <coughs> at this stage. <coughs> Just a hint, mind. Um, but it it has, it has got that deep doom um abyssal doom sort of feel to it um in a way <laughs> in my head anyway <laughs> I mean, I've, I've sort of um, used an analogy of tramps um, finding a flair for music. Uh, and regardless of that analogy, the, the, the flair is there. Um, it's obvious these guys um, can play a tune uh, and play a tune that uh, engages and grabs you, despite the fact we've got this fuzzy, fizzy sort of um, background black metal, um, it all proves to be very compelling and uh, it sort of takes along with it. And, uh, I often say that genres leech into each other uh, because I suppose people's influences, uh, particularly mus musicians, I guess, uh, influences uh, tend to come from all manner of places uh, and it's no... No different here. There are definitely bluesy aspects to this uh, sort of traditional hardy, rocky stuff uh, amongst all the black metal-y um, part of it. So uh, it, 
it does mean that uh, your interest is sparked and these guys constantly reinvent themselves as they go along, which uh, always refreshes, always, always refreshing. There you go. That last uh, minute and a half on that on that track is one of the finest minutes and a half you'll ever find in music anywhere, as far as I'm concerned. It just um, it just takes me to places, and um, uh, when it finishes, it leaves me stranded, uh, begging for more. Um, so there you go. That uh, two songs there that um, I won't say they're all over the place, but um, they keep you guessing, and um, but uh, ultimately. The reward is a big un. It's a big un, uh, and your ears will be thanking you for days, if not weeks, afterwards. If you listen to this, so there you go. They've got other stuff. Go and listen to that as well if you want. Uh, anyway, clicky bollocks. Catch you all next time. Cheerio.